I'm Nyla Edwards. I've been doing the film industry since I was about 16, uh, various areas of it. So about 16 years now, alhamdulillah. And before I came to Islam 10 Ramadans ago, I was an atheist. I believed there was no God. So I believed we were here, we die, and then that's the end of it. I was like, there's no God. Like I used to tell my Muslim friends, like you're insane. You believe in this man in the sky and like, it's all man-made religion. It was all written by men. Um, so I was like pure atheist. I did kind of like get into Buddhism for a little while before I became Muslim, but not so much like the reincarnation, but more like the moral values and like the love and harmony with everything, which I actually found a lot of parallels with Islam after I accepted it. The most important thing is to understand the Quran and the Sunnah because Allah told us to follow the Quran and listen to our Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. And so I would say, leave all this other stuff to the side, especially the new Muslims, get that foundation and then you'll be able to decide for yourself what the true path is. Allah gave us free will, Allah gave us a very logical brain and a brain that uses parables. That's why Allah wrote the Quran in the way that he did for us. He gives us examples. So you need to find your own examples within Islam. Try to relate it to your own life. Try to see the beauty of Allah's wisdom in your own life. And in the hardest of times, know that Allah would ignore you and forget you if he didn't love you and believe that you were strong enough to handle what you're going through, even when you feel like you're going to break sometimes. I've hit the lowest of lows in my life. I've gone through years of therapy to try to climb back up again. As long as you hold on to that rope of Allah, at least with one thread, you're not lost. And as long as you feel guilty for the sins that you're committing, you have Iman. So don't ever think that it's too late to pull yourself back up again and get closer to Allah because he's literally just waiting. He's just waiting for you to take one step and he'll run towards you, inshallah. Make sure whatever you do, that you're keeping Allah first. This life is temporary and it, you're not taking anything with you from here except your deeds. So be creative, show and express yourself, but always bear in mind the limitations of Islam. Don't get pulled into the Western idea of what freedom is. Freedom is what you set the boundary and the level for yourself, yeah? So I'm free to choose and I choose Islam and I choose the restrictions that Islam has given me because I trust Allah has given me the best set of rules. Islam is not a religion, it's a holistic way of life. So use that in everything that you you do use it as your mark because once you lower that mark you're insulting your own deen so don't get tempted by like you know the western idea of what freedom is express yourself in your own way and that itself is beautiful and people will want to listen to that mashallah okay <laughs> there it is that's beautiful sister and really thank you so much for sharing your story coming here you're spending your time to inspire all of us pleasure. inshallah we can see you again in future topics if you have time and uh, we will would like also to send you a lot of love and blessings. May Allah bless you. you all of them, inshallah. May Allah make it happy for you. Alhamdulillah. Thank you, sister. And assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye.